Hey guys, and welcome to Red Raptor Gaming. This is, uh, we're going to be playing one of my oldest, one of my oldest favourite games. Um, I used to play Final Fantasy IX when I was like 10. Um, so yeah, this is like a favourite for me. Um, so yeah, let's get on to it. I remember when I had uh, the original on this, and they're very, very finicky at this. So if you scratch them even slightly, you ended up uh, having it freeze in between all the cutscenes. Because these cutscenes were like amazing back in the day. And they're extremely weak. That was what they were like really known for. It's all a dream. Oh, it's so happy. It's a happy day. The other thing they were famous for was extremely long uh, cutscenes. I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy started that joke. And the dogs have been set free. Da 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 da! See, this is what they should have gone with instead of airplanes. Flying boats. That shit would be awesome. Probably more suicides than most, but yeah. It's so dark. I can't see anything. I'm all alone. Yes, yes, it then is. It is dark. Very good. Alright. I guess nobody's here yet. Now, I'm actually playing this with the keyboard because um, at the moment I have only got an Xbox One controller. I don't know how to link it yet, so. Hopefully, yeah, we'll sort that out. Okay. Okay, right. Hmm. So. And a half hours later. And I'm back. That was uh, my younger brother. So he's getting a swift kick up the jacksy. We have here also a bot. I refuse to name people by their actual names. This, this, I will name my child, said that. No, I wouldn't, because my other half will probably kill me. Hey, Sir Butt, you sure are late. Sorry, so where's the bar? I, I've, I've always thought these guys would have like really dopey voices, because they're like huge misfits. Okay, here we go. I am a saddo that years after playing this still had the theme song stuck in my head. So, yeah. Right. Okay, so we're going to tap. 
That's what I'm like on a day to day basis. Ship it over the other time. They're still from him. I stole his wrist. He's lost his hand. How do you steal someone's wrist? I, I don't understand that. I mean, I know they're talking about a bracelet, but the bracelet's a bracelet, not a wrist. I'm oh, sorry, but that should be physically impossible to carry that on your head without getting your head. In fact, that's actually probably what you'd say it out for. Hey, fools! Well, I missed a T already. You're looking a bit better. <laughs> It's like a 60s movie. All coming out of like, you know, the suits. Is that, no, that's the 50s, yeah. Okay. Here's a plan. Here's a plan, Joel! Tensilus, the infamous band of daring thieves. That's us. He's heading into the kingdom of Alexander. A mission. To kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here, I'll so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandra. And one of us, we're gonna put on our customs and perform I want to be your canary, the most popular player in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus. Because you're playing the lead. They're detecting to me. Of course, the real kidnappers would be a blank and third butt. I'll distract the aliens from backstage with those little bottles. I'll transform the gloves. But I manage, so don't worry about me. I'm not a block you, sir, but. Okay, so I know that's, you know, the whole princess gone, I think. This is actually quite a funny little thing here. <laughs> so if you didn't get that, I'll do it again. Let me see how many times I can do it, actually. Very curious. Oh, here you go. Alright, quit joking around. I said she didn't keep saying that now. Okay. You bet we're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in Alexandria. Princess Garnet. Sound like an old woman then. Now you get the joke. You have another cutscene. <laughs> but no, in, in all seriousness, no. It, it was... Amazing graphics back in the day. Absolutely amazing. The fact that they could do this in like... What was it? I think it was before 2000. I might be wrong now. I'm probably wrong. Probably like early 2000s. But I'll double check later. And I'll probably sound like a bit of a tip. You know, I'm pretty sure if they had castles like that now, we would never see whoever lived in them because they get lost 24 7. And I'm pretty sure they would have one bedroom for every day of their life. I believe this is where we're going to be Vivi now. I love Phoebe. Phoebe's sweet. He's a good kid. I 
Alexandria. Oh, you! He dropped your ticket. Boy, boy. Because in life, you always get one hand putting its finger over you. You wanna get out of my way? I think they're trying to say that VB's under the thumb. Hello, Globo, the trio. Alexandria Castle is this way. He's like one of the most irritating characters ever. You bump into several versions of him. And he does not stop blowing his own fucking horn. <laughs> into my eyes. Not around the eyes, in the eyes. Into the ticket booth. Ah, Ticketmaster. We know what he did with his life. What? This is some. There seems to be something odd about this ticket. Why? It's another fake. I've seen so many today. <laughs> Oh, Vivi. Now don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you this. Do try to cheer up now. Hmm? So if I go to a cinema with a fake ticket, am I going to get Pokemon cards? Let's try. You made me miss, you little klutz. Now that's not very fair, he was nowhere near you. You asshole. You missed because of your lack of hand-eye coordination. Miss... Why, why do you even have the name Dante? You're not cool enough. Where's your red cape? Where's your sword? It's Dante after like a few years of eating donuts. Hey you, shrimp! You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't ya? I saw the guy tell you it was a fake. <laughs> Are you out of your way, Jack? Do I look like that loser? But I tell you, to see the show, you'll become my slave. So many bad jokes right there. <laughs> when are we gonna get into that? Too early. Too, too early. Awesome! Now for your first assignment. You go and stand over there and see if anyone's coming. All clear? Yes, yeah, all clear. Awesome. Engage according to mission parameters. Now really, he shouldn't be able to lift that much, because when you think about it, look at his size, he's a child, and he just lifted up a full-blown wooden ladder. And if you've lifted one of them ever, they're fucking heavy. Into the steeple! Remember kids, don't just go somewhere because someone told you to go there. <laughs> Unless it's your mum, and your mum tells you to go to the shop. <laughs> That's why you get shit land on your face. Sorry about that. Good boy. 
That's Kupo. He's a Moogle. Kupo! And this is sleeve number one. Try to get along, okay? Kupo, pleased to meet you. I'm sorry. I enter you in Moogle Diary. Okay, yeah. Alright, it's time for some upward mobility. No, it's carrying it one hand. I'm sorry, th this guy should enter the world's strongest competition. Because clearly, whatever they've been feeding him, I want some of it. Kupo, you still here? Kupo, Stutskin, where the get up? You leaving? Kupo! Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I miss you, Kupo! And don't you worry, alright. Okay, Kupo! And I'm off. Take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Is that a friend of yours? Yep, Kupo! And a very special one, Kupo! He's sleep! I thought I ordered you to get up here. See, this game is always good to periodically save because you never know what the fuck's gonna happen. <laughs> Mognet is a mail delivery serve, uh, system between Moogles. We can send and receive letters to and from Moogles in other locations. Good but delivery has been very sporadic lately, so I want you to help us deliver mail. Good sure, why not? Okay. So, money, we're coming to get you. Wherever you may be. That's the other thing, you need to remember the Moogle names. Every time, because every single Moogle has a different name. Some of them are literally a difference of one letter. And it's fucking confusing as shit. You could go around spending about, you know, two or three hours trying to find one Moogle. Also, Service announcement, don't go walking on roofs. Not unless you're a trained professional. <laughs> or you're Spider-Man or Batman. Is that what happened? And then you die. Alright, yeah, I almost forgot. I don't even know your name. It's not Vivi, it's so Vivi. I'm not going to be mean to Vivi, because me, Vivi is my favourite. He, he's cool. Oh shit! Oh, his name's Q. He's Q. He's so cool, he only has one letter in his name. So it looks over here. It's always good to explore in this game because you never know what you find. Here's some point. We just stole someone's savings. I'm going without bread today, apparently. <laughs> Why would be inside the castle? Come 
on, let's go. Enter another cutscene for today. Smug face, bitch. He wasn't getting stabbed by that sword. Jesus. Her dance. Du, 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 du. Recognize him? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. When our story begins, Marcus, having heard this, crosses swords with the king. Now, your royal majesty, Queen Bran, and your highness, Princess Garnet, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary. Aha. Uh -huh. For the sake of our friend, let us bear your skin. I do hate it that they don't let you actually wait on that bear. Like nothing. This has to be a How dare you be king of ah. The better of Leo, my kinsman. Might as well, boy, might as well said so. How dare you be king Okay. Special effects. Poro, special effects, Murdio, special effects, Poro. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything at all. But it, it, it's to get your audiences waiting up. Murdio! If I remember rightly, I think that's supposed to be like um, a nod uh, when they called it. Called Meteor or Meteo. Is that a spelling mistake back in the day? So, I'm trying to remember which one that was now. I think it was six. Six or five or six, one of the two. It's more likely that it was six. Ah, oh, I think it's number one. What did it I am a tard.
Yeah, that shit. You drink that shit. Now you would think a hammer would do severe damage. Apparently not. And you mess the best. <laughs> Thou hast not seen the last of me, Marcus. Consider this, sir, but the Princess Schneider with the Maria Princess Cornelia. Peace would ruin over both of their kingdoms. It's foolishness, if all were so easy, why none would suffer in this world. Aha! Hmm. Aha! Hmm. Ding! The crossing tips. Right, this is, this is the bit where I'm going to struggle at because I don't have the control. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Okay, right. so we got that, 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 that. Um, okay. Bags. Yeah, there's one for Zedon. It's such. It drains your brain. Oh my god. Probably better than one like that. I wouldn't be surprised with many people. 34, yeah, I'm not surprised. Cream bottom, not impressed. Yes. Let's do this again. Okay. So I know two of them. Okay, so X, triangle. X, triangle. X, Triangle. Ah. Tell me something. Keep Queen Brown. Look at this shit. Fucking bitch. Eat my tacos.
black things changing, sir, but you get the helmet. Oh, <laughs> you smell kind of funny. Who are you talking about? My helmet's only weak. My arm is way too big. And my back's really itchy. The boot is so wet. And my gloves are all slimy. Your cookie crumbs in my pocket. He's like a woman. You still have your package, right? Don't worry, I won't screw up. Alright, first I'll go pour some sleep potion into Princess Garnet's teacup. And I've got a special something for a lady queen. Lady queen, rather. <laughs> He's sleeping so soundly. According to Recon, the royal seat should be right up the stairs. Got it. Uh oh! The same remark he sneaks into Cornelius' chamber is about to start. Let's get this over with before the finale, okay? Okay. Okay, let's get rid of this. Cause I don't like this. We're gonna run. We're gonna push it to the limit. Mm, he's always dressed funny. Um, would you please let me pass? <laughs> Examine her face. No, you see, I just thought maybe you were the one I've been waiting for all this time. Excuse me, you were waiting for me? Yeah, I've been to meet you here ever since I was born. Do you mock me? No, of course not. Then I should take my leave of you. Just a sec. Haven't you met before? No, I do not know you. Hmm. Maybe you're right, I never let anyone pretty with you get away. What's going on, sir, but say you wouldn't. I... Let's go. We bitch. Yep, push past people on the stairs, that's how people die. They let her go knowing who the fuck she was with. So it's like, really? These, these, I love these guys. This is terrible. Our head Queen Brown will have. We must hurry, hurry, we must. We are in trouble. Trouble are we in? The right way is not. I know it is not the right way. Really, do you? I really do. Wonder sometimes I do. Now is not the time to wonder. Hurry to Queen, but hurry to Queen Bra must be. We must hurry to Queen Bra. That's not the right way. Not, not the right way I know. Do you really? No, I really do. I really wonder sometimes. The time is time to wonder, and now it's not. Hurry to see Her Majesty, we must. We must hurry to tell Her Majesty. They, they like a highlight, they come up every now and then, they're so fucking funny. They've definitely got like the whole intelligent and idiot brother thing going on. Her Majesty is busy. Come back, little. Is it an emergency? What do you see this? 
a veritable emergency and a terrible urgency. Very well. I see what I can do. We're very grateful we'll be. We'll be very grateful. Good, of course that Beatrix always trying to one-up me. So what exactly is the problem? Her Royal Highness, Prince is done yet. He's in danger. I see. Wait right here. No interruptions. Can't you see? I'm watching the show. Your Majesty, I'm afraid Princess Garnett has... Ah, oh, yes. She didn't leave her seat a while ago. Your Majesty, it seems Princess Garnett has run off with a royal pendant. Well, of all the... What could she be thinking? General Beatrix, Your Majesty. And Captain, uh... Okay. Let's give him a good fine name. Captain... You shall be dubbed the Captain Dirtbag. Captain Dirtbag, yes, Your Majesty. Go find Godnet. Yes, my queen. At once, Your Majesty. Knights of Pluto, assemble. This is the Avengers now. Huh? Where is everybody? <laughs> Captain, sir. All present in the cab for, sir. What are you talking about? There's only two of you. Where are the other six? They make it. Why, you useless good for nothings? I bring orders from the Queen. Get dressed and go find Princess Garnet. Yes, everybody, yes, it's, it's okay. I love you all. They believe in something. Can La 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 oh. And I do believe we shall leave that here for today. So I hope you enjoyed, um, leave a like, comment, share it, show some damned love, because by God, I need it. Anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed, um, hopefully we'll carry on with this uh, series. Um, I will be doing uh, Deus Ex soon, um, I will be going to pick that up uh, in about a week. So yeah, that'll be with you soon. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you!